So whoever I'm speaking to today, I do see that you're not feeling yourself at the moment, right? You seem to be feeling kind of disconnected from your true self. Um, You may be feeling kind of down, depressed. You may be randomly crying or randomly having like emotional outbursts. Um, I am getting that you are acting out of character, okay? I'm also getting that it's almost like, again, you feel disconnected from your true self. You may also feel disconnected on a spiritual level, okay? So whoever I'm speaking to today, you have a lot going on at the moment um, surrounding you. Now, there's somebody here from your past that you may have, like, reconnected with this person or maybe like they just seen you or they've heard about you or just seen 101 but there is somebody here from your past that they are seeing how far you have come now you are somebody that you have done a lot of work on yourself you have a lot of good things going for you a lot of good things happening and It's like somebody from your past is seeing this and there is a lot of jealousy surrounding you at the moment. Um, There are a lot of people talking about you and again, these are past people. These are people that maybe you went to school with, you grew up with, you worked with at one point, right? There's like a group of people talking about you at the moment because somebody from your past has either heard about you or reconnected with you. I do see that you have a lot of eyes on you and you may not know it, but you feel it on an energetic level. There's Gemini energy here, there's also Leo energy. So yeah, I am getting that you may have a hard time at the moment regulating your emotions because it's like one minute, you're happy, you're upbeat, you're joyful, you're, you are yourself. The next minute, it's like you tend to be like sad, depressed, upset, right? Feeling very disconnected, feeling like you're not yourself. And it's because, again, there's a lot of energy here. A lot of people in your energy speaking about you, talking about you, just like thinking about you. There's a lot of gossip going on as well. I'm getting that you're literally sitting here minding your own business. And you have so many people talking about you, trying to figure you out. Talking about you and your life. A lot of people watching you and just like discussing you. You tend to be like a very hot topic in people's lives, especially like people from the past, even people around you. But right now you have like a group of people that seem to be jealous because you have done something, you've become very successful. And I'm also getting that there could be some type of connection that you have that people are, are like, jealous of. Also, just the way that it feels like you have a lot of opportunity. You seem to be very successful. You also seem to be very happy um, and fulfilled. And people seem to hate that, okay? You're getting a lot of attention at the moment. Whoever I'm picking up on right now, you're getting a lot of attention. And this is what's going on. It's like you may have a lot of different energy surrounding you. Like I'm getting also you may be dreaming about random people. Even people that you don't know. I just think 444. And it's because there's just a lot of people here talking about you in your energy, watching what you're doing.
you may feel very burnt out on an energetic level. You may feel like you can't do anything. You don't know what to... Like, you just feel like you're not sure what to kind of do. Maybe you feel like you can't do anything at all. Maybe you feel like you can't work. You, f you can't go out. Again, because you are somebody that... You are very sensitive to energy. And the amount of eyes on you at the moment is affecting you. Right? Hmm. I'm also getting that there's somebody that stole something from you. Okay, somebody stole something and tried to get a tried to get away with it. This person trying to get back into your energy, or they're watching what you're doing. And I am getting that the person that stole from you. This is some type of money. Okay, they stole some type of money and they're trying to get back into your energy. They may be even asking you for help, right? Beware of this person, okay? Beware of them because, again, they have already showed you their true colours. I'm also getting that this is somebody that they have a lot of bad karma attached to them. And, again, they're trying to get back into your energy, they owe you something. They owe you some type of money or something. It's like they took it. Or there could be something that they're hiding from you, okay? I just need 7-Eleven. I'm getting that there's something that they lied about and there's some type of money that is owed to you. I just need 717. So, again, this person trying to come in and a, you may not even know about this. But the thing is, they're trying to come in and they're really trying to... You may not have heard from this person in a while. Now they're coming back in and they're trying to kind of be very sweet, very caring, very kind. Okay, they want to get back into your good book. Um, they have a lot of bad karma surrounding them because of what they've done to you. So again, there's a lot of drama, a lot of drama surrounding you at the moment. Um, you really need to get back into your energy. You need to really identify, be very mindful at the moment of your thoughts, of your feelings, right? Um, because you're picking up on other people's thoughts and emotions. People... It's like they tend to watch you, especially from your past. I don't know why, but people from your past are very jealous of where you're at now. Okay? So, you are picking up on a lot of emotions, okay? And it's very important that you are being very mindful of your thoughts, your feelings, okay? I just need 909. Also... Make sure you are staying in a high vibration because these thoughts um, that you're picking up on, I'm getting that you're picking up on very low vibrational thoughts, okay, and this is on a telepathic level, and these thoughts are coming from people from your past because there's a lot of gossip going on, and if you guys didn't know, gossip is literally a spiritual attack. A group of people sitting there speaking about you and feeding that energy, okay, especially if they're speaking bad about you, that is a spiritual attack. That is a form of spiritual attack, okay? That is affirmations that they're speaking over your life. 
So now that you know about it, what you want to do is be very mindful of your thoughts, be very mindful of your feelings, okay? If you catch yourself having these types of low vibrational thoughts and feelings that don't even feel like yours, make sure that you re- remind yourself, okay? Um, go take a cold shower. A cold shower will literally wash all of that away and put you straight back into your proper vibration. Do not allow these thoughts to trigger you, okay? And not just that, it's not just thought, it's just like your energy, okay? Make sure that you go have a cold shower and you will instantly feel better. If you can't do that, just be very mindful of your thoughts and remind yourself that those thoughts are not yours. Okay, you may even want to affirm that you're in your own energy, the focus is on you, the thoughts, okay, or other people's energy does not affect you. That's a good one. Other people's um, energy, like other people's energy does not affect you. If you want, put that in the comments, confirm it now, um, put it into the universe, right? But again, because you're getting a lot of attention, I am getting that whoever I'm picking up on, there is some type of union here, some type of relationship, okay? You may be in a relationship or you're about to be in a relationship with somebody and there's somebody here that a lot of people find very desirable. And a lot of people find you very desirable as well. Like, you seem to be, like, matching, okay? Um, you both are very, very popular people, okay? Um, very good at communicating, very confident people. I just need uh, 12, 22. Um, and I do see that there's this union happening, this connection happening, and it's making a lot of people mad. A lot of people are really mad. A lot of people don't want to see this happen. And it's causing a lot of people to be in your energy, speak about you. And I do see that you have a distraction coming in. Okay? So there is this union happening. And even if you're with this person already, this is a deepening of the connection. Or it's some type of divine union coming in, okay? Um, something that you both have been waiting for. You both make each other very happy. You both really match each other. I just named 1313. You both have a really good, like, intellectual connection and a really good spiritual bond as well. And this is coming together, which is a wish fulfillment, right? And again... It's very important because this brand new opportunity coming in, this loving new beginning, I just think 1333, that you keep yourself on the right energy, on the right vibration. There's a lot right here trying to distract you, such as people from your past talking bad about you, um, trying to kind of bring you down on an energetic level. This person over here that stole from you, that's trying to come back into your life. There's a lot here trying to distract you and trying to get you back on that low vibration. So make sure that you're being very mindful, okay? You are recognizing your own thoughts and feelings. You're not allowing other people's thoughts and feelings affect you. And I just need 14, 14. And you keep your vibration high, okay? Try not to lower your vibration at the moment because this divine union is coming in with the loving card and the eight of cup this is a beautiful blessing okay a beautiful new loving committed connection okay and with the loving card here this is a very deep soulful love okay i just think 1441 a love where it's like you both feel such a strong connection you both are strongly just connected to each other, like strongly guided to each other, right? There's a lot of signs going on here. Um, you're coming up as the Queen of Swords 
they're coming up at the king of swords okay so again like a couple okay it's like this couple is uniting and there's a lot here trying to hold you back a lot here trying to get at you and your vibration trying to kind of um, make you lower your vibration so make sure that you keep the focus on keeping this vibration high staying in your own energy not allowing the negative thought negative energy okay affect you there's a lot of stuff going on what's interesting okay is somebody from your past and this feels like an ex friend they were trying to stop this union they were trying to stop this connection and now that it's coming together they're really mad that's why they keep speaking about you for a long time they were standing in the way and you're going to find out about this um but they were standing in the way and kind of convincing your person that you were not an option now this union is happening and this person here they're extremely angry so again make sure you're keeping your vibration high i'm also getting something about your heart chakra make sure that you are working on your heart chakra keeping it wide open and you're open to receive because you're about to get this major blessing okay and you're feeling this way because of the people from your past that cannot handle your success like there's a lot of jealousy surrounding you okay so now that you know you're going to recognize it okay and when it does happen just make sure that you again you can have a cold shower you can sage you know you can do an egg cleanse you can do a number of things however you however you um clear your energy do that okay um and yeah just make sure that you do not allow the energy trying to bring you down to bring you down because it's happening on an energetic level this is happening because this connection that is coming in, this union, is very high vibrational. Very high vibrational. Right? And it's like a lot of people don't want to see it happen, but like also it's almost like um, negative energy is really trying to fight it to make sure that this doesn't happen. It's 10 10 on my actual clock. So again, make sure that you keep that vibration high. So that's all I have for you. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.